An anonymous donation has given a Lubbock man the first sense of freedom he has had in months. This is an update to our discounted danger report. In March, a shooting rampage left one person dead and three others injured. Florencio Rivera survived the shooting but is now a quadriplegic. Investigative reporter Shaley Kidwell shared Florencio's story in October and it caught the attention of a family who just happened to have something Florencio desperately needed. From a hospital bed to a rehab facility, now his parents' home. Florencio Rivera has made progress and refuses to give up. It hasn't stopped me and it has it maybe put a little pause on things, but uh, I'm still here and I'm um, keep fighting. Florencio says doctors told him it would be too dangerous to remove the bullet in his neck, the bullet that robbed him of his ability to walk. Since the shooting in March, he's gained some mobility in his arms, just enough to operate this electric wheelchair. Are you driving, Grandpa? While he says this has given him some independence, it's been challenging to watch the children he once provided for now care for him. Well, they are, how do we take care of you, Dad? How, how, how is our house going to be accessible for you to come by and eat Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas dinner with us? Hey, hey, MB. Look. It's a Thanksgiving dinner Florencio wasn't even sure he'd be able to attend until now. We're actually getting a car from my dad. Somebody actually donated one, and we're super excited. An anonymous group saw our story on Florencio and donated this wheelchair-accessible van, customized by Mears Mazda Volvo. It's, you know, it's outfitted a specific way. It's not just a normal van. Florencio's mom and daughter picked it up and learned how to work all of the bells and whistles. Thanks. It's fantastic. I love it. They came straight home to show Florencio his new ride. Oh, I love it. It's awesome. I am uh, truly blessed to, to, to get that and uh, to know that there's still good people in the world that are willing to do that for a stranger they don't even know. The Rivera family says this donation will save them hundreds of dollars a month in transportation costs. Florencio's mother says hiring a wheelchair accessible vehicle to take Florencio to his weekly doctor appointments added up quickly. She says each trip costs between 70 and 90 dollars. This van will not only save the family money, but allow Florencio's outings to expand beyond the hospital. There's so much stuff that I want to do now, I can't even think. Go tell me places I want to go and see and, and visit my family and friends. Like I said, I'm just over, overwhelmed right now. Shaylee Kidwell, KCBD, News Channel 11.